Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This pick a card reading is going to take a look at career, money, and prosperity. We want to see what's next for you in that department. So if you have not as of yet chosen a card on the table, I know the lighting's kind of bad right now, um, but you could go directly to the portion of the video where you can get an up close and personal look at the cards on the table via a picture clip is still shot and a video clip as well there will be meditation music so you can you know relax into it and choose your cards the timestamps for that portion of the video are down below so go ahead and take all the time you need to choose your cards and if during that time you feel led maybe to pick more than one card on the table that is totally okay I will always encourage you to use your intuition. You have personal discernment, right? And I would always encourage you to use that. Pick more than one if you feel it necessary to get the most out of your reading. These readings are timeless. So whether you watch it at the upload time or sometime later down the road, basically whenever the universe places it into your awareness and you feel an intuitive nudge to watch, there may indeed be a message here for you. Nonetheless, I always try to remind everybody these are general readings. There's no way that I could possibly expect to connect with each and every one of you that watches. You know, you all come from different walks of life. We all have different experiences. So it would almost be impossible for me to connect with everybody that way. But what I always say is, let's say if you realize you watch the video, maybe it's not connecting for you. Maybe you're not resonating with it. Maybe before you click off my channel altogether, have some fun exploring my channel and my playlist. I have a bunch of readings I've already done. You might come across another message somewhere in the mix instead. I have pick a cards of all kinds and I also even do daily readings for everyone. So have some fun exploring and see what you find. If let's say you realize that maybe we're we're not clicking that way and I'm your, not your cup of tea, that is okay. I set the intention for you that when you leave my channel, you will come across the messages that you need and the universe will guide you directly right and true to find the confirmation that you're seeking at this time. I trust that the magic will guide you always right and true. So with all of that said, Star Family, I will go ahead and leave you here and I will meet you at your reading of choice. Pile number one viewers, this is your card. This is a card you chose. There is a message on the back of this and I'll be sure to incorporate that into the reading for you as soon as I get more cards on the table. So we're gonna take a look at what's next for you when it comes to career, money, prosperity. What's next for you? Let's see, pile number one viewers. What is next for you in career, money, and prosperity? Okay, so we have five of cups. I wonder if some of you maybe left a job or lost a job recently or something like that. Let's see. Especially with that card. Or having even some confusions when it comes to your career life or your money situation. If you've experienced also uh, tight times, you know, like with the economy and everything the way that it is right now. If there's been a struggle financially, that could be what the Five of Cups is all about. So let's see. What's next for you when it comes to career, money, prosperity? Pile number one, viewers. All right. Two more cards. All right. So we have the Knight of Cups. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's great. Basically, what this is saying is... It looks like there has been some struggles when it comes to the finances or maybe trying to get ahead. And if you've ever in your life, okay, have struggled wondering when you're going to pay your next bill, right? The Five of Cups can definitely speak of that. And I'm sure many of us have been there at least a couple times in our life. Um, that's that energy of the Five of Cups, especially if you, if you maybe got let go from a job or they kind of put you on leave or something like that like a lot of layoffs can happen you know and it's like okay now what so if you've ever been laid off or they let you go or whatnot that can indicate you know trying to figure out with the five of cups like what are you going to do next like what's going to happen next <clears throat> because the three of cups there is kind of indicating something was lost right it, or there was something that went awry in a sense and the thing is, is that oftentimes with that energy, we got to shift our focus. It's not all lost. It seems like it in the moment, right? Whenever we're experiencing something difficult, it seems like everything's lost in the moment, but we have these two cups still standing. So it's telling us that there's hope. And 
if you felt like that when it came to your career, your money, you know, your your finances, whatever your your earthly needs are, if you've ever felt like that, you know, there's still some this is saying there's still some light at the end of the tunnel here. So even when you felt like that, there was still a glimmer of hope. Maybe though you were struggling to maybe see that glimmer of hope. The Knight of Cups comes in to kind of like save the day. The Knight of Cups is saying here, what's next for you is that what you thought was lost to you or what you thought was going to be a struggle or um, something that was going to be difficult for you ends up actually leading you to a new opportunity with the Page of Pentacles. And I feel like I took forever to get that out. But <laughs> anyhow, the Knight of Cups is actually moving you in the direction of something on your heart, maybe a better opportunity that's more in alignment with you and your inherent being whenever i see the court cards that represent the suit of cups i can't think of i can't help but think of like following that thing on your heart or not only that they might represent people but it represents the thing that that you hold on your heart and it represents that thing on your heart at different levels so like the page to the knight, to the queen, and the king, you see. So the knight of cups is moving in the direction of one's heart. You might have to let something go with the five of cups in order to go pursue that thing on your heart. So let's say some of you left a normal nine to five that was paying a regular paycheck type of thing and was dependable. You let that go, let's say, to go pursue um, a, an endeavor that was more in alignment with your soul. That would be the five of cups and the knight of cups. You see, and going out and pursuing that thing, even if it was slow and methodical and you were taking your time with it or it was taking its time to develop and, you know, kind of build up, you were still moving in the right direction. You were still moving in the direction of your soul's inherent kind of tug and pull with the Knight of Cups. The lovely thing about the Five of Cups is that sometimes when we're in our funk, we fail to see that, that there's hope. And Spirit wants to remind you, if you are dealing with a financial struggle right now, if you're dealing with maybe being in between careers or something like that, if you're wondering how you're going to pay your next bill, Spirit with the Five of Cups is saying, look, try not to focus on what the chaos is right now, right? Or what the inherent problem is right now. Try to focus on, you know, what, what you have, right? The blessings that you have right now in this moment. Shift your mindset also to gratitude with the two cups still you know, still standing basically because there's a glimmer of hope here. And what Spirit is trying to do is remind you that you are moving in the right direction with the Knight of Cups. Even if maybe right now with the Five of Cups, it maybe doesn't feel like it. Or even recently, you've experienced something that didn't you know, help you have confidence in the direction that, that you're going in. Page of Pentacles is indicating the opportunity presenting itself to align you with the direction you've taken or the thing that you've chosen and the moves that you've made with the Knight of Cups in the direction of your heart. So the wonderful thing about the Knight of Cups is it does talk about movement, speed, action, momentum, right? All the Knights do. They talk about movement in the direction of something. In this case, you're moving in the direction of your heart. The Five of Cups kind of puts a little bit of a delay, slow process on it, if you know what I mean, and you're wondering when things are going to pick up. But the Page of Pentacles is saying, look, there's an opportunity right around the corner. So if you were hoping to land another job, if you were hoping for an extra source of income or something new, right, to boost your, your finances in some way, there's an opportunity that will present itself. You may actually be presented with an opportunity that would require that you learn something new, that you take up a new skill, that you get your feet wet a little bit and try something different. Pages are curious. They're always trying to understand and learn the world around them and see where it leads them. So this is about exploring the options and the opportunities as they present themselves. Don't be surprised if you get a phone call because pages talk about messages and phone calls and opportunities, right? Where this this one talks, especially because it's pentacles, talks about opportunities. But there's a message, phone call, email, text that could come in towards you in regards to an opportunity. So the feeling is here, explore this option, explore this opportunity. Be willing to try something new if that's what it takes, right? Be willing to kind of open your heart to the possibilities because right here is the initial investment in something brand new that has serious potential to expand and grow and become so much more. So trust your gut with the intuitive energy of the cups. Move in the direction of your intuitive nudges. 
trust where it's leading you and guiding you. It's okay for you to follow your heart. I know that's sometimes the hardest thing to do, especially when you got to put food, you know, on the table. I understand how, how that is. And I can seriously relate and empathize to that. Um, the five of cups is saying here, look, not all is lost though. Try to shift your focus in the meantime, try to stay positive as much as possible. Try to keep moving in the direction of your heart as much as you can and stay open, right? And receptive and keep your heart open to the possibilities because this page of pentacles is actually promising you an opportunity, an offer, maybe some good news coming through to kind of, the feeling is lift your spirits. So that way you can see that there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is hope, right? Trying to keep hope alive here. So the page of pentacles is basically saying this is an energy that's going to come through to deliver something to you, to assist you, to move you along in the right direction. Because if you look at this, look at the body language of the cards, right? The body language of the cards, the knight is leaving this situation behind. He has his back to this situation that maybe wasn't working out or that was causing a rift or a challenge or feelings of sadness, worry, and, you know, loss. So he's turned his back to that and he's facing the opportunity that the page of pentacles is holding. Okay. And that's where the focus should be. Not here. It should be focused here. So let's see if we can get a few cards. Um, maybe just one. Let's see. What else do we need to know about this? And then I'm going to pull. Oh, okay. Nice. We have the Terra card, which means earthly energy, energy that is stable, secure, and grounded, right? Yeah, maybe for some of you, it has felt like an uphill battle with the mountains there. But look at the sun. The sun is shining, bringing you success. And this energy of the water is telling you to just be in flow for now. Stay receptive, be in flow, because you are flowing and moving in the right direction. You have the sun here shining down on the situation to align you with the thing on your heart and the opportunities that need to present themselves for your benefit, okay? So let's see what this card says here. Oh, wow. Okay, so it says birth. Another gateway appears. Look at that. Another gateway appears in view. New life is unfolding with blessings to you. So you see, whatever it was that went wrong over here in the prosperity department, money career department, that's, you know, that's going to be something that you put behind you because there's opportunity for growth here. Birth, the birth of new conditions, perhaps, right? A, a gateway, another gateway, another door is open to you, right? It appears in view, that would be the Page of Pentacles presenting you with something new, and it's going to unfold new life, energy, and blessings to you. So be, again, be open to the possibilities here of where these new uh, potentials could lead. So let's see if we get a final Oracle card for you, pile number one. Okay, so it says gentleness. Strength is gentle, true kindness has wings, love in action endures. What I want to say to you is also be kind to yourself, be gentle with yourself during this time. I feel like you are transitioning from this five of cups energy and moving in the direction of new things. And sometimes we can be hard on ourselves as we're trying to like fix our life and control everything. But sometimes we just have to, like this card is indicating, be in flow with the changes and the directions that the universe is trying to guide us in. Whatever was lost here, I feel like it was put behind you so that way another another opportunity can be opened up to you instead. Something more in alignment with your heart. And that's the important message here. So be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. And don't be surprised also with this card. If someone extends to you an act of kindness, showing you love, maybe somebody extending an opportunity to you as well. So this is your reading pile number one, viewers. If you feel that this has helped you, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Remember, you're in a position right now to birth new conditions, new possibilities, new potentials. Try to keep your focus on that. Um, if you want to support my channel, please like, share, subscribe. If you want to go a step further to support what I do, visit me on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below in the uh, description box. Pay me a visit at any time. I have really cool things there that I make by hand, including handmade crystal jewelry. So much love to you wherever you are. Be safe, be well, take care, and always keep shining. Pile number two, viewers, this is your card. There is a message on the back of that. And I will be sure to incorporate that into the reading as I get more cards on the table. So what we want to take a look at now is 
What is next for you in career, money, and prosperity? Let's see. What's next for you? Pile number two, viewers, in regards to career, money, and prosperity. What's next for you? All right. So we have one, two, and three. Okay. So we have the three of cups. We have the death card. And we have the ten of cups. Holy cow. What a combination there. All right. So... I like this because the three of cups is telling me that things are coming together. There's a major change that you are experiencing perhaps right now at this moment, but it's going to lead you to your 10 of cups energy when it comes to, you know, career, money, prosperity. So this is saying here, there are things coming together for you that with the three of cups that are going to shift you in the direction of your fulfillment, in the direction of your happiness, your contentment, and that feeling of just everything being right with your world. The three of cups can talk about community. It can talk about uh, networking, friends of a friend of a friend who knows somebody, you know what I mean, who could connect you with the right people, places, and things to assist you along, whether it be in your career, whether it be in regards to maybe a financial opportunity. There's things and people shifting and coming together to assist you. I could also even see this as the universe itself conspiring right now to bring things, people, places, and situations together to line you up with in order to initiate or enact the change, the major transform transformation that is needed to get you to your 10 of cups when it comes to your money, your career, your prosperity, your finances. The death card indicates a major ending, a ma major closing out of a cycle, a major shift in a change and transformation. You could have been ex experiencing that physically in your everyday life you could have been going through a major shift and change in your journey you could have also been experiencing that on a spiritual level especially with the death card some of you could also be scorpio um so if i didn't mention that earlier but the feeling here is that the universe is kind of putting the pieces of the puzzle together bringing you in contact with those things that you need those people that you need those contacts that you need that networking that you need to shift things along and the shift is coming from the death card to kind of bring something to a close in maybe your career your journey or something that kind of ran its course in order to line you up with the ten of cups maybe with something that would make you a lot happier so let's say you were at a job that that you couldn't stand for the last 20 years and then somehow the universe this is just an example but let's say somehow the universe connects you with a friend you haven't seen in like five and that friend talks to you about maybe something that they're involved in or business that they're looking into or maybe a project that they want to start up. And, you know, you guys start to with the Three of Cups network, right? Start bouncing ideas off of each other. And then the next thing you know, here's an opportunity. You could end up getting connected with somebody that they know that has a job that you want. They might, let's say, offer to, you know, hey, you want to start a business together? And then the next thing you know, with the death card, you're here leaving that job you've hated for the last 20 years. And you're starting up something that's going to make you happy. And you're being put on the path to your fulfillment and success with the Ten of Cups. As a result of leaving that cycle or thing that you've been kind of stuck in, the feeling is, I don't know why, but death card usually doesn't give me the feeling of stuck. But <laughs> anyhow, um whatever it is that you're closing out was maybe a stuck energy and it's saying here that you could be leaving that behind because it wasn't really helping you to live your best life and now here's the opportunity to connect with the right situations people places and things to align you with your fulfillment and your happiness emotionally being content i could even say that whatever came to a close was really just putting you on the path to something better Right, whatever you maybe you chose to leave that job, or maybe you switched your career trajectory and decided to take another route, and it was a major change for you. Maybe something even out of your comfort zone. The death card usually can feel like you know you're you're doing something, or you're you're going through a major change. It's not always comfortable when you're experiencing something like that. A metamorphosis never would be comfortable. Just ask a butterfly, right? So this is feeling like, yeah, there was a major metamorphosis here or a metamorphosis is soon to take place when it comes to your money, your career, your finances, and your happiness. 
consider that the three of cups talks about reunions get togethers joy right and this again saying that the, what the universe is doing right now is conspiring to assist you to bring you to a place of joy to align you with those people those kindred spirits those energies right that you need to kind of put you on the right path to that ten of cups energy which is literally having it all being fulfilled on many levels emotionally spiritually mentally and physically and you'll hear me talk about this where i say you know we're we're meant to be fulfilled on all levels not just two not just three not just one you know all levels mentally spiritually emotionally and physically and whatever shifts and major changes you might be experiencing soon when it comes to your career your money and your finances please know that it's the universe's way of aligning you with what is better suited to you aligning you with those people that you do re relate and connect to many of us have been in jobs that don't resonate with us vibrationally on a spiritual level this kind of, this reading is kind of giving me the vibes that spirit is actually moving you in the direction of that which will vibrationally align with you better than where you are right now or better more evolved or upgraded from what you're doing right now some of you might already be in jobs that you feel aligned with you, but this is kind of giving the indication that there's another level to the to that journey that you are um, soon to be experiencing. Some kind of leveling up in what you're already doing, maybe taking it to the next level. And spirit needs to kind of like have one aspect of what you're doing kind of phase itself out in order to make space for the for the true fulfillment and accomplishment and full scope of what you're meant to do. So just trust that if you experience any closing outs or maybe endings of a situation, just know that this, what this is doing is the universe is conspiring you to align you with your 10 of cups energy when it comes to your career, your money, and your finances. You're meant to be fulfilled. And there could be some aspect of what you're doing that's not giving you the full picture of how spirit wants to bless you. The 10 of cups is the full scope of blessings. And fulfillment right along with the ten of pentacles too so this is telling me that things are coming together trust the process of the way these things are aligning for you yeah it's gonna bring major change but it's nothing you can't handle again strength gained in the struggle some of you probably have already gone through that transformation process and are now waiting to see what what it looks like on the other side, right? Because as you're going through it, you don't know the full scope of what it's going to look like when the transformation, let's say, is complete. But you're trusting where you're going, right? Because you feel spirit has your back, especially with the death card. Um, sometimes the death card is that energy that where I say that it's it's necessary change. You know, it's not always fun, but sometimes it's much needed change and transformation. Even if it is uncomfortable, some part of us deep down knows that it was needed. And that's what this is saying here. So again, don't worry about the changes or the shifts that you might find yourself in. Know that this is leading you to something better. Okay, so let's see what this card says. Oh, cool. Look at that. Look at that. 1111. Numbers and doubles, synchronicity and two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. Look at that. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. So you have the 1111, which is obviously, yes, balance, alignment. And it could even be love. Yeah, I know we're not talking about love. But it could be doing something you love, right? Um, so this is saying, yeah, things are lining up for you. That might that 1111, for some of you, might actually be a confirmation, right? How many of us look to numbers for that? So yes, yeah, synchronicity. This is Spirit's way of giving you a synchronicity right now. So again, don't hold back. Don't don't hold yourself back. Allow this shift, transformation, and metamorphosis to occur um, because this is you living your best life now, okay? And you being put on the path to it when it comes to that thing that's going to bring you fulfillment when it comes to your money, prosperity, your career. Um, I'm going to grab maybe one of these cards to see what else we get here. Pile number two, viewers. Again, the 1111, talking about alignment. So again, aligning you with those things that you need to kind of put you on the path to your fulfillment when it comes to your, your money, your career, your finances, prosperity. 
Yeah. So that's the energy that I was talking about when I said sometimes when we're in the middle of a change with the moon energy, we don't always see what's on the other side, but we we still kind of go anyway because we're trusting something that that we sense on the other side. That is the energy of the moon which talks about intuition and there's a necessary change taking place here that you know kind of maybe on a soul level needs to happen and maybe you don't see the full scope of where it's leading you but the ten of cups here is indicating that it's leading you to your fulfillment it's leading you to the right things that are going to bring you happiness that are going to satisfy you and even if you can't see the full scope of the picture this is saying to trust the process because your intuition is going to give you signs synchronicity nudges right to kind of uh confirm it to you as well so here's the confirmation of synchronicity here's the intuitive energy spirit could be talking to you and nudging you through intuition and this is telling you to trust the way that these intuitive nudges are guiding you syncing you up and lining you up to your prosperity to your good and your happiness when all is said and done final oracle card here for pile number two viewers okay what do we have so it says integrity Drop the things that offend your soul. Oh my gosh. Again, those things that don't align with you. Like I said with the death card, sometimes we just know when, you know, it's something has to go. We just know when we need to change, right? And this is saying drop the things that offend your soul, right? So if, if there was a job that you had for 20 years, like I said, that was offending your soul for 20 years, this is saying to let that go. Maybe make the choice to. Or spirit's going to align you with an opportunity or a situation that's going to assist you to leave that. To let it, you let it go. To help you let it go. And it's going to connect you with the right people, places, and situations to allow that to happen. So you can go pursue your happiness. Yeah, look at that. Embrace your truth. It's your life. Whoa, hold on. It's your life. Let no one live it for you. Um, talk about synchronicity. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. Embrace your truth. It's your life. Let no one live it for you. Why do they feel the same in energy, right? Life is meant for you. No, yeah, it's your life. Life is meant for you. It's your life. Oh my gosh. Don't hold back, it says. Don't hold back. Drop the things that offend your soul heck yeah oh my gosh i love that card absolutely live true to you do what you got to do if you got to you know figure it out like and you know what and if you don't have an answer right now as far as maybe leaving something behind in order to align with your prosperity this is telling me with the three of cups that spirit is going to line you up with it so also trust the process of that because the synchronicities the signs and everything's going to come together to assist and conspire right conspire for you to align you with this so trust the process of it so pile number two this is your reading i will leave you here if you feel that this ha has helped you in some magical way please do let me know in the comment section down below like share and subscribe to support this channel if you want to take it a step further to support what i do maybe visit me on etsy the link to my etsy store is down below in the description box pay me a visit I have handmade crystal jewelry there that I make by hand on my free time, amongst other things. So uh, check me out at any time. Whenever you, you know, get a chance, pay me a visit. Much love to you again wherever you are. Be well, be safe, take care, and always keep shining. Pile number three. You chose this little door card. There is a message on the back of that, and I will be sure to incorporate that into the reading as I get more cards on the table. What we want to take a look at today is what's next for you when it comes to career, money, and prosperity. Let's see, what's next for you when it comes to career, money, prosperity? Pile number three. There's, oh, okay, there's three cards. Let's see what we get. We have, wow, we have the Judgment card, the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. Whoa, okay. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, so this is saying what's next for you is that you're free of something. You're being freed of something. 
could be a mindset, could be a place, could be, um, like I, I use the example in one of the other readings, like a job that you hate, right? You're being freed up of something. What's next for you is that you will be liberated from a situation that wasn't maybe helping you to access your prosperity fully. And you're being liberated from that situation with the judgment card and putting that behind you because you release things from the past with that card and you free yourself of those things. You basically had your wake up call. Sometimes the universe will actually wake you up to show you something so you can have the realizations and the clarity and epiphany moments that you need in order to make the change that you need to make for your benefit so you can truly put something behind you. And the judgment card is saying here, there's an opportunity up ahead or maybe some of you have already done that, right? Uh, so I'll throw that out there as well. Maybe you've already done that. But there's an opportunity here to kind of put something behind you fully. And once you let it go, you really let it go. And after you let this go, it opens up the world of possibility with the three wands to you. Where it's like all the things that you have done uh, leading up to this moment. Maybe with some of you even healing some issues with prosperity. Some of you might have gone through, you know, a lifetime or a cycle of, you know, pros you know having a, a lack mentality or, or poverty consciousness, right? And maybe some of you had to heal that, especially if, you know, you grew up poor, like, you know, you didn't have much money or much food or something like that that sticks with you as a child. Um, I, I, I experienced that myself. So if like, you don't have like food to eat, you know what I mean? That that sticks with you even into your adulthood. And sometimes that's something that you got to constantly battle. But once you finally like get to that point where, where you've cleared that and you, you do feel liberated. So I'm using myself as an example here to kind of help you understand what I mean by the judgment card. So the judgment is that energy where it's like you free yourself of these things from the past and it can be literal you could free yourself of a job like i said uh you could free yourself of a mindset you could free yourself of a place that you felt stuck in um like let's say you've lived in the same hometown for the last 30 years you know like that can feel like stagnant stuck energy so it's basically anything that kept you stuck anything that you needed to free yourself up in order to make space for the new the judgment is saying there's an opportunity up ahead maybe you've already experienced it maybe you're already going through it right now as we speak to let something go and liberate yourself fully so you can now move in the direction of your blessings because the three of wands is saying here that your ships are about to come in you've set your intentions out you put those out into the universe the universe already knows what you want the universe already took your order the universe understands what you need the three of wands is saying yeah I, yeah, I'm the universe here, right? As an example, right? Let's pretend I'm the universe. I took your order. I know what you want. I know what you set your intentions towards. I know what you're passionate about. I've seen all the hard work you've put into the things that matter to you. I know how much you've strived and how much shadow work with the judgment card that you have done to free yourself and liberate yourself from those things that weren't working for you mentally, spiritually, um, emotionally, and physically. You're, you've done the work, or for some of you, you're about to do the work to let that go. But what it's actually doing is now freeing you up and allowing you to receive those things that you already put out there into the universe towards me, right? And here I am about to drop a bomb of blessings on you. With the nine of pentacles and you don't even see it coming. You you sense it because the three of wands is that. It's the future forward energy. You sense it. You can feel it coming on the horizon. But you don't see it yet. You don't see the ship come in. But trust when that ship comes in, baby. Okay. It's going to be full of treasure. That's the feeling that this reading is giving me straight up. It's like your ship is coming in and when it comes in, it will be full of treasure. Okay, it reminds me of the scene of Pirates of the Caribbean when they finally found the treasure. The ship itself was loaded, but the darn thing was cursed. And that's why everybody had to put together their piece of eight and put it back and return it because it was cursed, right? But you're not cursed. <laughs> You're here to collect your gold, okay? You're here to collect your treasure is what Spirit is saying here. 
I'm just using that scene because it was so memorable to me and it's one of my favorite movies. Um, just because it's, you know, it's classic now to me. But it's just like, whoa, they, they hit the mother load, right? They finally found it. And once, see, once they were able to break the curse, then they could keep the gold, right? So it, it kind of relates, okay? Like the, the, <laughs> this is so funny. The judgment card is like breaking the curse that would keep you from receiving your pirate ship of gold. You, you get me? I know that's kind of harsh. It might seem like over dramatic or hyperbole, but think about it. How many of us have to, some of us have to break general race, generational curses when it comes to poverty, consciousness. Think about the judgment and how it frees you from these, these things. It frees you from a lot of things, anything that will hold you back or hold you down from your fullest potential and blessings. So what this is saying is, yeah, kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean, they had to break the curse in order to allow themselves to receive the treasure. So yeah, it kind of does relate. At first I wasn't, yeah, it's weird. At first I was like, oh, that's probably a shitty example. But no, it does connect. Um, <laughs> this is saying here, okay, your ships are about to connect or, well, yeah, your ships are about to come in and connect you with your blessings. All right. You might sense that there's more out there for you when it comes to your money, your career, your prosperity, and you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're picking up on it because you know that something is shifting. Again, the judgment card is a card of change and transition. So it's like, you know, something is shifting and changing for you sooner. You're going to be picking up on that. And it's like, where is it guiding me? Where is it leading me? You can sense something on the horizon. You can sense your blessings coming in some way, one way or another, and you're not wrong because they are. This is saying now that you, you're able to put a lot of this behind you, you can look towards the future and guess what? Your, full, your future with the Three of Wands is full of blessings with the Nine of Pentacles. Understand that here's your treasure. Here's what you had to release and let go. Could be a place, a person, um, a job you hated, a mindset that needed to clear and heal. You've let that go so now you can be prepared to receive it. Here's the letting go, the waiting for it to come to you, and then here it arrives. You see? Your future is full of blessings. There's some kind of stability coming in for you when it comes to your money and your career. You could actually, with the Nine of Pentacles, go self-employed. You might have left the job, right, that you didn't like in order to pursue self-employment, to pursue your goals on a personal level, maybe to go into business for yourself with the Nine of Pentacles. This is also saying you might have left the job that you didn't like behind or you might have moved from somewhere or changed your mindset um, in some way in order to travel both figuratively and literally with the three of wands in the direction of your, your blessings. Some of you might have quit a job in order to travel to another place to get another job that's more in alignment with you that's going to pay better and set you up for a comfortable life with the nine of pentacles. There's so many different ways I could look at these cards. And those are just a few examples. The Nine of Pentacles is indicating comfort, security. Your hard work also paying off. You've already done the work with the Three of Wands. And now the Nine of Pentacles, you know, is proof in the pudding, so they say. Some of you, if you ever wondered, you know, what is this all going to amount to? Nine of Pentacles is here to say, yeah, that your hard work was never in vain. All that you've been through was not in vain. All the changes that you've experienced were not in vain. They were leading you to something. And that something is secure. That something is bountiful with the Nine of Pentacles. Could be a new job. Could be self-employment. Um, could be a pay raise or uh, a promotion. It could maybe open you up to some travel, maybe traveling for work or business with these two cards. So whatever's changing, closing out or ending over here with the judgment energy to free you up is actually freeing you up to give you more freedom, more financial freedom. 
like to me this reading like this is no joke like this is serious to me this is serious reading here it does feel like major something major with that judgment card took place to heal you release you free you liberate you so you really can now be free of those things limitations Okay, pirate curses, if you want to use that as an example, to receive the blessing, to receive the treasure that, that you know is yours. But maybe you couldn't fully claim because this had to be let go first. That Nine of Pentacles is sitting pretty. Upgraded home car lifestyle okay she's living it up she's living her best life literally maybe new clothes you know this is a financial upgrade taking place uh to set you up for some comfort but it also feels like it's all lining up the way that it should at the pace that it should you're getting there Okay, so let's see what this card says. Intuition. Simple, complex words of pain or words that heal. You come to know truth by the way that it feels. Okay, so remember when I said with the Three of Wands how like, you know it's out there. You can sense it. You might not see it quite yet, but you know the ships are coming in for you. You know the blessings are out there for you. And spirits like saying they weren't in vain. Like everything that you went through over here with this card wasn't in vain. Your time, your energy, your pain, your struggle. Like whatever you've been through was not in vain. Your blessings are incoming. And we see that here with these two cards together. And that's your intuition. Like your, your intuition knows, right? That your blessings are incoming. You'll know it by the way that it feels. You can sense it. You can feel it on the horizon, right? You can feel it on the horizon that it's incoming. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm looking at this like there's something coming your way. You're going to have sign a sign of it. Like a faint, you know, like when you're, you are, let's say, looking at the ocean. Sometimes you can see something way in the distance, but you can't quite make out what it is yet. Right? You're going to see signs of it like that. And intuition is going to confirm some things to you. That what you're picking up, right, is, is legit. Again... Uh, be mindful because if first sentence here says simple complex words of pain or words that heal be careful how you talk to yourself too because I feel like right now you're in a very powerful position to attract wonderful things and you want to make sure that your vibration right is only in alignment with those wonderful things that you want to attract because right now you're attracting in your blessings with the three of wands and the nine of pentacles Okay, so this is telling me that there has been a seed that has been planted. And like I said, sometimes we don't always see it, right? But we can sense it. That's because it's taking root and it's growing. It might have been in hibernation mode for some of you for a while. Right, but this is like, this is about to wake up. This is about waking up the sleeping giant. Okay. And this is also giving me the vibe that those seeds that you have been planted, that you've planted, your intentions, right? Basically, the universe took your order. Those things that may have seemed like they were in hibernation mode, well, the sleeping giant is about to wake up. Nine of Pentacles is indicating that, that it's gonna, it's, it's about to come through. So that breakthrough, that opportunity that you need, um, 
that upgrade somewhere in your finances or your career is coming through. So trust your intuitive nudges because they're giving you hints. They're dropping you hints where you could start to see it on the horizon, just like the three of wands, because the three of wands, that energy that put, it puts the intention out there. Now it's just, and the energy, and it's just waiting for it to return. It's like a return on the investment. So this is about the return on the investment of all the time, energy, and effort you've given to something or all the shifts and changes that you've gone through. Those were part of the investment, okay, into the blessings arriving. And now it's just a matter of time, right, before they come in. And this is saying because the Knight of Pentacles is here, this is saying that it you're right on the brink of it. It's like the sleeping giant isn't asleep anymore. The intentions that you set out into the universe won't be asleep much longer. Um, your blessings are incoming with the Nine of Pentacles. And you're going to be sitting very comfortably, financially provided for, sound, and secure. Some part of your lifestyle is upgrading in a positive way. Um, so trust your intuition and the, and the way that it speaks to you. And the way that it feels. Because there's going to be sensing. More sensing at first. To indicate what's coming. Okay. What's incoming. All right. Oh, look at the swan. The swans talk about magic and transformation. So it says elegance. It is found in the beauty of nature. The lotus waiting to bloom. Be the swan on the water and glide. Yeah, this is kind of like saying smooth sailing, okay? Also, the lotus energy is about change and transformation. It's about transmutating the muck, right? Because lotuses are grown from mud. And they have to go through the muddy depths and murky murky waters before they reach the top surface of the, the water uh, source where they live before they can bloom and access the sun. Sun is a symbol of enlightenment. And this is you unfolding and blooming into the best version of you. There is magic taking place as well for you. So trust the magic taking place for you right now to kind of open this portal of blessings to you at this time. You've undergone major change and transformation a lot of the changes, right, might have kept you in hibernation mode for a while too. But this is about you now, right? Waking up to your good, waking up to your blessings and accessing these things now to set you up for, again, comfort, comfort, a comfortable life, okay? And your prosperity now um, showing itself. So this is what I have for you. Consider that this is smooth, you're smooth sailing into it, okay? A lot, lot of punny things here with the swan because it says, be the swan on the water and glide. Well, a ship glides on water too. So this is saying this is all smooth sailing. Forgive my little man. He's very vocal. Um, this is all smooth sailing for you now. So if you could just roll with it, okay, you will end up at your blessings without a hitch. All right, so I'll leave you here. If you feel that like this has helped and connected for you in some magical way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. If you want to take it a step further to support what I do, please visit me on Etsy. I have uh, cool crystal jewelry there that I make by hand on my free time, amongst other things. So check me out at any time. Much love to you wherever you are. Be well, be safe, take care, and always keep shining. Pile number four viewers, this is your little doorway that you chose. There is a message on the back of that. And I will be sure to incorporate that card into the reading as I get more cards on the table. What we want to take a look at, at now is what's next for you in regards to career, money, and prosperity. Let's see if we can get three cards. Career, money, prosperity for pile number four viewers. Okay, there's three cards there. Nine of Cups, Page of Wands. Oh my gosh, I love it. And the Two of Wands. Holy cow. Okay, so what's next for you as far as career, prosperity, money? 
This is basically saying that there's a wish developing for you. Maybe it's a career project goal, aspiration that you have in mind for yourself that you've always wanted to accomplish. And this is basically saying that that wish is about to come through through for you you're going to be very fulfilled and happy for that about it actually you're going to get news of this with the page of wands as well you could get a phone call an email a text to deliver this good news to tell you that there's an opportunity coming through for you um to kind of help you to set your foot off in the right direction right and make these plans for this thing so news about a wish or something that you've been waiting for comes through to assist you to make plans uh, in the future. Pages are new energy, so this could be something brand new to you, something maybe new that you haven't tried before or maybe um, encountered before. You may, with the pages because they're students of life, you may have to learn something new, but this is something you're excited about, something that you would be interested in. So even if, that, if you have to learn a new skill, a hobby or trade or something like that, it's going to be to your benefit because it's going to set you up to make plans uh, for future uh, goals or endeavors. This Nine of Cups energy is indicating that Whatever comes through for you, whoever calls you or offers you something or kind of entices you to make plans towards something uh, in the near future when it comes to your money or career, this is basically saying this is something that's going to make you happy. You're going to be really fulfilled and feel satisfied with this news, with this phone call, with this opportunity when it presents itself. It's literally going to open up the world to you uh, with the Two of Wands. And the, the energy of the Two of Wands is the world is your oyster and you are the pearl. And basically, you can create your world and shape yourself into anything that you want to create and allow yourself to be. This is an opportunity that's going to expand for you and allow you to kind of shape your world in that sense. So you could have a you know job offer, a career move, right? Literally or figuratively, um, because there's a there's energy of sometimes travel with the two of wands, also the three of wands. Uh, but there's an opportunity you have a choice you can decide which way are you going to go what are you going to choose but i feel like yeah there you might be at a crossroads deciding okay should i take it should i not take it the thing is is that this opportunity is a good one and it's going to lead you to some kind of fulfillment or happiness so if you were expecting or hoping that you, a job would come through for some of you this might be the opportunity to choose between two two jobs um you might have more than one opportunity presented to you in this case Basically, what this is saying is to, the feeling is leaning in the direction of that which is going to fulfill you most, that which is going to bring you happiness and satisfaction with the Nine of Cups, that which is going to put you in alignment with maybe a wish that you've had on your heart for some time, and also trust what feels good to you, right? Also, the feeling is here, there's opportunity to create with the Page of Wands, and to kind of like tap into your divine spark that way. And that might be something that's important to you as well. It might not always be about the money. It might be, do I have creative liberty? Do I have the potential and the creative liberty to create with this new situation, project, goal, or career? This is also a feeling of an idea might come to you to help you innovate how to bring in more money or income. So it might not be that somebody's offering something to you. It could be that you get a spark of inspiration and a huge idea that excites you and that you become passionate about to help you access the money that you seek and the abundance and prosperity that you seek. So yeah, don't be surprised if you get some creative inspiration hit you suddenly and then it like sparks off a, a world of possibilities for you. And then with the Two of Wands, you start making plans in the direction of those ideas. Which open you up to a whole world of possibilities and to making wishes come true. Here's a world of possibility. Here's the idea and here's the wish come true. You see how it all ties in. So this feeling is here. There's going to be like huge potential to receive good news or get huge ideas but whatever these this news or ideas you know are they're going to lead you to your wish fulfillment lead you to a sense of happiness and satisfaction 
and abundance as well. Because the Nine of Cups here, all the cups are full and the table's full of food too. So again, it's going to be able to feed you. It's going to be able to take care of you, whatever this opportunity is or offer or whatever this idea is that pops up into your head that you feel you must act upon. The thing is not to hesitate, right? Go with what feels good. Because sometimes the Two of Wands, you could be kind of like stuck at a crossroads. You could kind of feel like, oh, should I do this or should I do that? The feeling is not to hesitate too long. Yes, it's rational to please think about it. Absolutely. Um, but the feeling is here. You already know what you're passionate about. So go with that. Follow what makes you happy. Um, what excites you. Because that vibration is going to take you far. When you get happy and excited to, to do something, pursue something, you're in alignment. Okay, that's the vibration of alignment being in sync with spirit. So let's see what this says here. Okay, so that's a 42. Four plus two is six. Uh, six is a vibration of alignment, balance, and harmony. So let's see. Inner power, by your own command, you brought yourself here. At this moment in life, you have nothing to fear. Yeah, hold, like I said, don't hesitate. Don't hold back, right? You might have options with the two of wands, but inherently your intuition, right? Also inner knowing, inner power. Because um, what do they say? Your intuition is your superpower. So inherently, you already kind of know what you're passionate about, what would excite you, what would bring you, you know, um, a thrill, what would spark your creativity, you know, those creative, what would get those creative juices flowing? You already know what would do that. So it's like, it's up to you, you know, to tap into that and follow that. But it says, by your own command, you brought yourself here. At this moment in life, you have nothing to fear. Again, so don't hesitate, don't fear. Um, take the steps, make the plans, take the action, right? With these two cards in the direction to initiate with the Page of Wands, a new trajectory in the direction of what's going to fulfill you, what's going to bring you happiness and satisfaction overall. So don't hold back out of fear, right? You have the power basically to make the choice, act upon your intuitive uh, inspiration and nudges and make it happen. So it says you have the power at your command. You can command this at your will. What You know, you have the will to pursue it. You can do it. Yeah, you have nothing to fear moving forward either. And also don't fear ever making the the, the choice. Because sometimes that, that can happen. It's like, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I choose A? Should I choose B? And that moment of not deciding is still deciding. You're just deciding to do nothing. And sometimes it's fear that keeps us vacillating and sitting on the fence like that. Right? But the thing about this is, look, we have the cat in the card literally sitting on the fence. Um, the cat is a symbol of intuition. So again, going back to the idea of you already intuitively, inherently on a soul level know which is the right choice. So trust that. And, and don't fear making the wrong choice or the, you know, yeah, don't fear making the wrong choice. Uh, we don't want to put that vibration towards it, right? So let's even get a, a card here. And then I'll grab a final as well. So yeah, you may have a choice to make. You may feel that you're at a crossroads, but there's opportunity, news coming in um, that's going to allow you to kind of like explore the possibilities and step in the direction of something new to put you on the path to your wish fulfillment altogether. Don't fear the path that you're taking or this new trajectory that you're choosing. Don't fear making the wrong choice because this is lining you up with your Nine of Cups energy here. And it may feel different because it's new, but you have cats. You have cats in the card. Actually, I just noticed here's one as well. This is, you know, intuitive energy kind of nudging you in the direction of what's, what's going to be best for you. So trust that that will speak loud and clear for you as these things present themselves. Let's see if we can get a card here. Okay. 
Yes, look at that, perseverance. And you know what? That kind of reminds me of this because it says, by your own command, you brought yourself here. You persevered, right? You can persevere through anything. That's what I was saying. Like by your own will, you can accomplish anything if you really want to. So don't step, don't fear stepping out into a new direction or choosing a different trajectory um, in the path of something you desire. Okay, because wands represent desire, creative inspiration, divine spark being lit. And sometimes we got to act upon those nudges because they some, you know, they oftentimes lead us to our wish fulfillment. Uh, when spirit lights a spark within us, you know, it's hard to ignore. We got to kind of eventually act upon it or we become restless as all hell. So this is kind of saying if you're on the brink of kind of like stepping into a new journey or chapter when it comes to your career, maybe your goals, your aspirations, uh, trust that the trajectory that you're considering taking is going to lead your to your wish fulfillment. Obviously, your abundance as well is tied into that because again the table's full the table is full which indicates i have all my cups filled i'm fully satisfied and supplied for okay so some of you may be concerned about the money aspect well fish are also a symbol of abundance and we have the, the salmon here so this is saying you have the capacity the ability the potential to persevere through any hurdle you perceive okay when it comes to moving in the direction that you're called and led to you can accomplish it because salmon swim upstream they have no idea why they're swimming in that direction until they get there do you see and sometimes we have intuitive nudges that we're pushed toward and we have no idea why we're being led this way and it's not till hindsight like you know a few years down the road that we understand why we were so tugged in a certain direction because spirit was tugging at us and it's not until we arrive at the desti to, at the destination that we realize why we were led in that direction and for what purpose it always makes itself clear to us later um but that kind of reminds me of the salmon energy he's like i don't know why i'm swimming in this direction i just know i have to i just have to do this i just have to do it you know, but yet what takes place when he arrives, when the, when the fish arrives upstream, it's spawning season, right? There's a, an abundance of salmon there spawning and fulfilling their purpose and their mission and accomplishing their goal. And again, fish talk about abundance. So yeah, I... Yeah, you're, you're moving in the direction. You choosing this path is spirits nudging you in that direction to arrive at your abundance and your wish fulfillment. And you have what it takes to persevere and accomplish the goal uh, if it requires, you know, if it requires a journey in itself to arrive at it. Okay? You have what it takes to see it through. And you have the power within you, inner power here. And you have nothing to fear. Final oracle card. Let's see. File number four, final oracle. Okay, there's two there, um, and I am I am gonna take them. Let's see. What? Look at that prosperity. Focus on the positive, and more good will come. Give thanks for blessings, and they will multiply. Multiply, because fish multiply when they spawn, right? <laughs> they do. Um, that's why they swim upstream, so they can multiply. Prosperity begins in the mind. Yeah, that's totally true. Let's see. Humor. Oh, that's a cute card. Look at that. And another little cat. It says, laugh at yourself. Lighten your heart. Let nothing steal your happiness. Yes, go in the direction of your happiness, right? Lift up your vibe by just not taking life so seriously. My dog has taught me that, actually. My big dog. Um, she's taught me to play a lot more. And I, I so needed that. Um, because I, I can easily be a workaholic. And I get so hyper-focused that I forget to live sometimes. Okay. Um, but yeah, she taught me how to have more fun. How to tap more into my inner child. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if any of your pets like ever brought um, life lessons to you. 
and what they may be. Because I honestly think that some of our pets aren't just pets. You know, they're, they're um, guides in a sense. And they carry energy that we need. And I've learned this firsthand. Not only because of connecting spiritually and being told these things. But also actually witnessing them and living, living the experience of it myself. So I'd be curious because that's what this card reminds me of. And do you see how she's playing with her cat? So yeah, laugh at yourself, lighten your heart, let nothing steal your happiness, move in the direction of your happiness, let nothing get in your way. Whatever it is that you need to decide in the direction of, of, um, of your money, your career, if there's something you've been debating and you're not quite sure whether you should follow through with it or not, maybe it's an opportunity, maybe it's something that you've wanted to pursue uh, for yourself, right? Don't let anything steal your joy. Again, here's your happiness, your satisfaction with the Nine of Cups. So again, this is saying that that's out there for you if you really want it. Don't let anything rob you of that, of pursuing that, right? Light in your heart. Stay in your heart. Don't take life too seriously. It'll all work itself out because you know what? It always does. Your prosperity is on the other side of this choice or on the other side of this opportunity when it presents itself. Um, trust yourself and how it feels. Okay. And yeah, the feeling is take a chance, see where it leads you. You know, some of us right now in this moment, especially with the way the world is, it's kind of like, what do we got to lose? Right? What do we got to lose? And you know what? A lot of us have shifted away from fear. We don't, we don't care for it. We don't give a shit. Right? We don't, we don't care. We don't want to entertain it. So this is not about entertaining any kind of fear, right? This is about entertaining your happiness. <laughs> That's what it is. We don't got time to entertain fear, right? That's why it says at this moment in life, you have nothing to fear. You damn right. I don't, uh, -uh. I'm going to entertain my happiness. That is all I have time for doing what makes me happy. Right. And that's we got to all like try to find our, our, ourselves in that place. Right. Cause again, we can't take life so seriously. Sometimes we get caught up in this matrix, which is a freaking illusion, which makes us think, right. That, that we have things to fear, which is such BS. Right. We don't have nothing to fear, nothing to fear. None of us should be entertaining any fear anywhere, whether it's projected onto us or whether our own mind, right, that little voice in the back of our head, tries to make us fear. Let's not entertain our fears anymore. Let's entertain what makes us happy. Let's entertain what makes us laugh. Let's entertain good vibes only. Okay? So I will leave you here. Let me stop ranting. <laughs> Pile number four, I will leave you here. If you feel that this reading has helped you in some magical way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel if you want to take it a step further to support what I do. Please um, visit me on Etsy. I have an Etsy store. I make handmade crystal jewelry, amongst other things that I create by hand on my free time. Pay me a visit whenever you wish. Much love to you wherever you are. Take care and always keep shining.